Our passion is all about design thinking. We, our team is really a bunch of designers and builders, and, and we um, really owe a lot of that to IDO, David Kelly, Tim Brown, the D School. I mean, I kneel at these guys, you know, right, right on the floor, because I think they're amazing, because what they have helped us do is create a repeatable process to really think in a totally different way about how to deliver and create something new. How to truly step from the outside and work your way back in with a set of design principles. And that may seem like, you guys are so involved in this, that may seem obvious to you, but in, a, in an existing company, what happens, and it's human nature, is you really can, and you're still in the process of delivering the, the quarter's earnings, that you see an exciting opportunity, but it tends to be incremental. Because frankly, that's, that's your, the reach you have at the moment, and you need something that's going to pay back quickly. So you often aren't getting the chance to say, well, what if we kind of rethought the whole thing? So like Ready for Zero, where, you know, when you thought about debt before, and let me tell you, there's a lot of work that goes into collecting debts, you know, what we would do historically is we'd say, well, you know, how do we get more efficient at making those collection calls? What Ready for Zero is about is, well, why don't we just figure out how to never have the need for collection to begin with? And that's the flip. That's the revolution, is really creating, why do we have to have all these service centers? Why doesn't it, is there something wrong? Why doesn't it just work, right? And so that's really what design thinking can bring to the table, is saying, why, why does it need to be more than three steps? Why does paper have to be involved? Why can't I start here and finish here and on four different devices and my transaction follows me? Well, you can. But the challenge is, is the way these services, particularly, I think, in banks have been over the years made, they've been made better, but, but incrementally. As a result, there's no like turning the car on to know it works. So there's no really demonstration that it makes it better for the customer. What we're looking at is, design it all over again. We're the men from Mars. How does this work?